Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Sheep Tech, and most of this video is going to be talking about the uh, Huawei P30 Lite. Now, of course, we're shooting this on Samsung Galaxy. I just I really had no test to run out today that I can think of. I didn't feel like going outside and taking photos. I was just not in that kind of shape. But uh, we'll get to all that right after the intro. This will be a two segment. The second segment will be a bit of a rant on a reviewer, no one in particular. I'm not going to name names. Probably knows who he is if he read my reply. So let's get to that right now. And so we can stop. And we'll do the intro. All right, folks, I'm back. And, uh, for this segment, we're going to pretty much talk almost totally about the uh, Huawei uh, P30 Lite. And uh, it's uh, got the fingerprint reader on the back. That's the bonus feature on this phone. That's what makes me like it. Yeah, feel the oh yeah, it's a bad color. No, it does have glass on the back and glass on the front. That just means it's got two glass surfaces to shatter when you drop it. That's why it's sitting in a Winky Fusion case, just like the uh, A51 will be when we're done shooting here. Just hard to cram into my. Impulse selfie stick with a case on it. So, there really wasn't much else to do with the A51 today. Uh, my feet hurt a lot, my legs hurt a lot, so I couldn't really get outside and take some, uh, you know, some of them old, ooh, stellar photos. Uh, that this particular phone will take. Uh, the only thing now, now that I fixed that, uh, uh, on the Huawei, if you watch yesterday's video, which will be linked at the end, I basically talked about going ahead into your developer apps. Uh, you know, go to developer settings. You'll have to log in. You know, you go to system bus on and you click. You'll see build number and you click it seven times and bam, you're now a developer. Then you pick developer options and you slowly scroll down. I'm not going to describe the whole thing, folks. But suffice to say, by default, even though it says it's off, uh, Bluetooth absolute volume has been engaged uh, before, sometime before, at some point, or it's just not right. So, uh, as you take your coolest earbuds, stick them in your ears, and you get up to about half volume, if you were to look at the media and it says volume at maximum and you think no so what you do is all the instructions in that video watch this thing till the end now let's get on to that second segment come right up Alright folks, uh, 
We're back for the second half. This is the second segment. Uh, watched the re review the other day on this guy, from this guy. And he was uh, doing a review on this phone, the Galaxy A51. And I just sat there dumbfounded while he said, well, the reason there's no wireless charging is this has a galactic, which is basically plastic back, and you can have wireless back. And I immediately paused the video and left him a comment. I'm like, well, geez, I've been an engineer for 20 years, and I can tell you for a fact that uh, electromagnetic energy will easily pass through um, plastic. So, and I've heard this before. So anytime you hear that discounted, it's absolute bullshit. I mean, after all, what's this stuff in the back of my brain? Fusion case. It's called polycarbonate. You know what else that's called? Plastic. Okay, guess the block. Where this charging of phones will have it. Does it now? Of course it doesn't. All right, and so enough of that rant. But nothing worse than a reviewer who isn't willing to do the research first. And he's just like, well, I heard that. You know, I'm sure that response. God, don't argue with him like a real engineer. Plastic will not stop the propagation of electromagnetic energy. Glass will attenuate it farther than the plastic will. So, having fixed all those other problems, I'd just like to point out that there's only one problem. And this guy, ooh, look, it's some kind of cross hump. And, uh, and that is this. We'll be able to hear. Yeah, the home screen still don't rotate. I've even tried an app up there. It didn't help. So, I'm hoping someday you know, and this has been a prevalent problem for the whole line. They fix that, and this will be my daily driver for like six months. And the A51 will get set aside. I've also noticed the O battery is a wee bit better on uh, the uh, P30 Lite. Well, it's a smaller screen, yeah, but it's also not AMOLED, which is supposed to, <coughs> you know, do better. Apparently, that's not true. But remember, these are the early days of testing. I'm, I'm still playing around setting up software and all that kind of stuff. So that's all I got for tonight. If you like this, found it informative. First off, there will be a link up here, well, it's actually going to be, I don't know which side, one side or the other, uh, to the uh, fix, if you happen to have a Huawei phone, because as I understand it, this isn't an uncommon problem, and I'll, you watch that, it's like four minutes, and all your issues with your Bluetooth devices. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Please like, share, subscribe, and remember, where are you? There you are. Thanks for watching, folks. Later.